yeah, I'm gonna put my waders on. It's time to get going. Literally just coming off deer camp. Uh, my buddy Lance called me and said, hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm up at the river doing trout fish. Caught 60 trout today, you wanna come up? I said, yes sir. Just got a deer down last night. Literally still got the hard liver on ice. And uh, it's time to tie some lures on and do a little fish. I went ahead and I, I got some some new waders and boots this year. Uh, hopefully this is not gonna leak. My neoprene ones were just, I mean, it was just a gusher in the crotch in a, in a completely bad way, in, in the way that you don't want. I've just brought one pole, y'all. One pole. This, I'm so scared to break this rod because it's my only, it's my only one, but this is my, my crappie my panfish, my everything. I absolutely love this rod. I can't wait till it's available. Everybody needs one. It's a seven foot light. And it is just so perfect for catching anything from bluegills to, to rainbows and all that fun stuff. And it even comes in a two piece where you can just stick it in the truck, and get her done. And I got that new gold series. Got some braid on there, 10 pound, 10 pound, eight strand braid, this is our, our goon squad braid, it's just in a yellow high viz. And a little eight pound leader, that's it. Gonna tie a little spinner on there, tie a bunch of different stuff, get up to our chest and get her done. So let's get out in the water, let's get some trout, and then guess what? Fires, a little brown water. Mm. Cook up some trout, maybe some deer liver. <sighs> We're gonna eat, eat good and live right. one of my best buddies right here this is lance channel name one too many hobbies yeah you do you really do what what is what what do i do here this is a hook and it goes over the shoe okay, give it to me. here okay put, make sure that's up all the way all the way around too oh, okay there you go there we go now i just have okay oh, okay i see what's going on now okay no there's a little lip put it over your laces up in front that'll work oh yeah i definitely got them loose but that's fine. There you go. I'm ready to kick a trout in the face now. Did you take the tags off these things? Five <laughs> minutes ago. Five minutes ago. So last year, you remember my waders. Well, I remember two years ago they were leaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot. <laughs> and then so this year I said, no, I ain't doing it. I threw them in the trash. And I went online. I, you know, I was going to get like, like the Sitkas. And then I saw the price tag and I was like, okay, well. It's an investment. Maybe I'm not fully ready for that. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying this little deal out. Hopefully, you know, you gotta work, work your way up. That's right. I started with frog tog hip waders. Hey, I, I got you some. What'd you get me? To eat. All right. Some deer jerky? Deer, what, some deer blood lip, sausage? Lip, bro. Really? You ever had deer liver? I haven't. Let's try it together. You, do you, have you never had it either? No. Do you eat it raw? No, hell no. <laughs> I mean, I you could. Not, I've seen people just like, they'll kill the deer, they'll pull out the liver and they'll eat a little chunk. Well, here's a, here's the thing. I think your liver processes a lot of like bacteria and things. And I think if you eat it raw, you could, there's some things probably living in there. Look at this, look at, you got, you got a slit. Dude, I got a sleeve pocket on my Guggen, baby. Yeah. That's where I put my chapstick. Nice. Where do you put your toilet paper? Speaking of toilet paper. Hey, there's my toilet paper right there, baby. Wipes. You'd wipe. You never know. <laughs> I mean, and I'm notorious. When I gotta go, I got about five minutes. Hey, I'll say this about this new waiter system I got on. Significantly more comfortable to walk in. I told you. Testing out the new waiters and boots getting in for the first time. Ooh, that was that was ballsy. What do you mean? That's how my that's how Jim face first <laughs> he said he hit a rock come on man jim jim's like 70. <laughs> how high are we going you think how high how high are we gonna fine, get yeah. oh dude this this is these are a lot nicer than the neoprenes yeah it's it's pretty nice not to feel um water coming in it's a lot colder in the water for sure oh, oh. there we go Big. There we go. Hey, you hooked 
Heads up. Oh yeah. There you go, my brother. Yes, sir. First one we let go. Dude, my fingertips are frosty right now. Not gonna lie. What'd you catch yours on? My tried and true orange spoon. Nice. This guy? Very nice. So I caught mine on a spinner that a fishing freak made me. It's got a little orange on it. Just doing a slow retrieve in this pool. Oh, I got one. I was trolling. go hey, hey hey baby you know what that's a keeper oh yeah he's been caught before oh you lucky he got lucky once oh you're the man dude heck yeah dude just showing up and getting her done that's all it is you stick that right there on the old clippy clip good to go that's two for two on the uh single hook i haven't lost oh well, because when they hit it it's either a bump you miss it or they're on you know true true i have i've had i have had some bumps that i've missed dude this rod's badass i gotta get you one of these is that your new uh yeah we make it in a two-piece but it's a, I mean, it's a, it's perfect for this. Two piece would be, I, all my rods are one piece. Two piece would be good for like traveling. Yeah, you just throw it in the truck. You just leave it in your truck. Oh, goodness. Just got Wally popped. Oh, look at that fight. Look at that gyration. Look at that Guggen, Guggen tip doing the, doing the work. Love to see it. That's a good fight. Okay. Came off perfect time. Look at that. Look at that. There's another one for the table fair. That one knocked the tar off of it yeah when they, you, they get the ones that shake it a lot they're typically smaller but they're more fun to catch so, you know i've never caught a real sizable one out here yeah you gotta get a fly rod man that's how you do it i think so all my big fish that come with the fly rod that's a pretty decent one there there we go how many can you keep is it six three three yeah, that's why your thing only has three on it. And they uh, cool last year. Oh, daggum. <laughs> I'm about to be done. <laughs> we'll go get by that fire. Oh, we got firewood too. Oh, man. Do you, you got any brown water? Brown? Yeah. Oh, no. You don't? I like... Man. I only... <laughs> brown... Lance and brown water don't go together. <laughs> I thought they did. I thought we had a good time last time. No, oh, that was... That was me getting uh, peer pressured into that. Oh. Just a little bit, man, just to warm you up. Uh, Hooked up, baby. Just a different hit. Little buddy. You know, here's the thing I'm learning with these new waders, though, is they are a little chillier. Yeah, do you not have, uh, what do you have underneath them? Oh, uh, I've got some, like, thermal pants on. Mine breathe, I don't know about yours, you're probably breathe, breathe too, but like, you walk around and you won't sweat. Huh. Like, you take the other ones out, like there's always moisture and stuff on them. Yeah. 
Oh shoot, oh no, I got a dreaded wind knot. A wind? Yeah. Oh, that one is bad. That's a juicy one there. Is that brave? That, yeah, this could be a morning ender. Happens sometimes when you're going heavy spinners. Not really a wind knot, it's just a tangle. Well, buddy, it's been nice knowing you. Oh yeah, we just broke it. Uh -huh. We just said, break me off, Sally. You got bing bang right there? Dude, I don't know. The temp is like 30, 39, but it's real feels like. Oh, did you see that? Did you have that on camera? I should have done a slow-mo. Dude, I thought I broke my line. How did I, what? Oh. I just David Copperfield did that yeah, you thing. Hit it right, you hit the water right in front of me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dude, right there. Oh, big jumper. Uh, yeah, you just you splatted the, your thing hit right in front of me. That's what backlash you or whatever. <laughs> what do you call that? Name or tough? What do you call it? <laughs> David Copperfield was a magician. <laughs> I know, but what, what's the analogy? I don't get it. David Copperfield? Yeah, what? Because hey, I got the knot out. Uh, well, I thought I broke my line. I pulled it so hard I broke it. Uh, I got you. Thought I felt a fish on my foot, and they I did. did. They do. They go to the feet. Yeah, they. He just. Kick them to get them off he just touched my foot. Shake your feet. Get the out of your shoes. Oh man, that's that's setting up to be a bad deal there. Oh yeah, saw that one coming. Saw that one a coming. Another one? Yeah. Um, yeah, another one, dude. I believe in miracles. Oh. Lost him, huh? Yeah, he felt pretty good. Dude, I got it out. I'll tell you what. The, you the Lord is with thee. <laughs> Oh. Bump? Oh yeah, dude. I think I got a real slower. I'm going slow enough. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Yes, you. sir. You need our tandem. Come yes, on. sir. Get you some of that, little boy. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. He's pretty small. Probably gonna leave him. Yep. I see one two nuggets out of that one. No, nah, he's he's pretty small. S single hook, dude. I like the single hook, man, for the trout. Make it easy. Just yeah, I just do it like a bass. Just grab him, yeah. throw him back. Couldn't take it any longer, y'all. I got one more of those daggum knots. Just pissed me off. And I couldn't get it out. My fingers were so frozen, so I had to come back. But ended up with two decent trout. That's probably the coldest I've ever uh, ever been when fishing up here, where I literally was like, I was like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. It was like, you don't want to retie anything. It was like too cold to even switch out a GoPro battery. It was cold. Lance, he, he doesn't mess around with starting a fire. He gets it, gets it going quick. I mean, when you're cold, propane. That's what you need. All right, we're gonna do a little camp cooking. We've got our two trout here. This is gonna be my lunch. I really don't have a whole lot to eat here. I have, uh, <laughs> I have some deer liver and some heart. But a little trout sounds pretty tasty for lunch. I know you guys have probably seen me clean trout before, but it really is one of the easier fish to clean. You just go up that belly.
Looks like we got a little male trout here. Pull out what some folks call the innards. Pop the old noggin off. And then squeeze out that bloodline right along the backbone. And I don't know of any other fish that I can clean faster than that. God, this water is cold. I mean, I, there's not many times where I literally have to stop fishing because my fingers are just not functioning. Man, this morning with that wind, it was bad. So, being by the fire, filling up with some food, that's gonna feel really good. I'm actually just gonna throw these in the fire, borrowing some of his tin foil, a little Cosmo SPG, if I had some lemons, that would be ideal. Yeah! Might just eat the skin and everything. Just go full savage on this thing. My wrapping method, a little questionable. I went heavy because I'm gonna, can't even see my face. I went heavy because I'm gonna do this in the fire. Let's take them over to the pit. Nice and get some heat on there. Burn down. Set them, set them in there. Caveman style. There we go. I'll have me lunch here about 10 minutes. Let's check this fish. I, I am not kidding you when I say. I don't have a whole lot of food here, so this is, oh yeah, I would cook that, dude. Look at that. It's still, it's still going to eat fine. It's going to peel off the bone. I actually like it overcooked because the skin gets a little bit of a crunch. You know what? I am going to have myself a little skin because I've lost eight pounds in the last week from a lot of stomach virus type things. And this right here is some good fats. Oh yeah. SPG would make a cockroach taste good, but put it on a legit piece of meat. Fantastic. Oh, thanks buddy. I was actually, I was gonna show the folks at home something I carry with me all the time. You know, do a lot of truck camping this time of year. <clears throat> this would be a good Christmas present. Not a Guggen thing. I'm just telling you guys what, if you got someone in your family likes to do a lot of truck camping, camping in general, you know, just on the road even, case hobo. You guys know I'm a big knife guy. Oh, look at that. I use this thing all the time. It's a spoon, a fork, and a knife all combined. And you know, you don't have to deal with a bunch of plastic stuff you, you know, know. <laughs> yeah that's gonna kill a whale someday well, that that, that right there. here's how i eat my lunch so <laughs> oh you got you had a nice one yeah. there but you know th these are killing whales <laughs> they've they've discovered they're getting in their blowholes out there in the ocean it's it's real tragic so save a whale get a hobo you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's probably the best ad for case ever case hit me up anyway that's what i'm going to use to eat this trout right now okay. now the only thing that could top this off would be a cold adult beverage which I think I just happen to have I, I've got I've got a cold cooler around here somewhere oh man oh, look, you got one. I got one dude it's still got deer blood and so in, in, in the top of the cap there so me and Lance tonight we're going to eat deer liver for the first time ever I've never had it uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be our, our nightly fun so Probably gonna want to stay tuned for that. You want to figure out how to eat a trout for a second. Here's a big old bone in there. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I saw it hanging. I totally just, you know what? I need uh, extra calcium right now. <laughs> you just swallowed it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you like to keep the fish? You can keep yours. Because I've, I've been coming up here you for 10 years. You do this all the time? Well, 10 years of, I don't know. If I catch a, if I catch a big one, I like to fillet it. And you can get the bones out, and then I'd like to blacken it on the cast iron 
mm. skillet. I've actually never done that. Would that, that would be really cool. If you get a good size one, you can do that. I like to put seasoning on it and blacken it, and then you can put it in uh, a taco, which is really good. Mm. But we're talking like gourmet stuff there, not caveman <laughs> aluminum foil. Dude, I, I like caveman style. <laughs> caveman and a Coors Light, that'll keep you right, kids. You just leave the fork in your car? Yeah, or the, I haven't cleaned it in <laughs> months. Yeah, you, you clean it with your... That's it. <laughs> Little pants wipe. She goes right back in. All right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you want to stay tuned for the next episode, do a little more, more fishing, do some, some organ meat eating, you know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out GugaSquad.com for all the new terminal and apparel that we have dropped this fall. Link down in the description. Use code LFG. Save 10% off that site at any time. Thank you guys for being here. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.